Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1747, the world's first venereal disease clinic opens today at London Lock Hospital. In 1797, Austrian composer Franz Schubert is born today. In 1801, John Marshall is appointed Chief Justice of the United States. In 1842, President John Tyler's daughter Elizabeth is married in the White House. In 1846, Juneau Town and Kilburn Town unify as the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In 1851, Borden announces the invention of evaporated milk. Also in 1851, the Hamilton Gas Light Company of Ontario installs its first lamps. In addition, in 1851, the first orphan's home in California opens. It is in San Francisco. In 1855, the western U.S. receives so much snow that trains cannot get through. In 1863, the first black Civil War regiment, the SC Volunteers, is mustered into the U.S. Army. In 1865, the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is passed. So what did the 13th Amendment do? It abolished slavery. You should probably know about that one. Also in 1965, General Robert E. Lee becomes General-in-Chief of the Confederate States of America. In 1871, millions of birds fly over San Francisco, darkening the sky. In 1872, American West novelist Zane Gray is born. He grows up to pen the wildly popular Riders of the Purple Sage, among others. In 1874, the Jesse James Gang robs a train at Gads Hill, Missouri. In 1876, the United States government orders all Native Americans to move onto reservations. In 1880, the ice rail opens in Canada. A railway track was placed on large timbers across the ice of the St. Lawrence River. During the summer months, a car ferry was used instead. In 1882, celebrated Russian prima ballerina Anna Pavlova was born. In 1892, comedian Eddie Cantor is born. In 1905, the first time a car exceeds the 100 mile per hour barrier was today. In 1906, one of the 10 largest earthquakes ever, an 8.8, occurs in Ecuador and Colombia. In 1911, the U.S. Congress named San Francisco as the Panama Canal opening celebration site. San Francisco, I wonder why. In 1912, a 7.0 earthquake rocks Prince William Sound in Alaska. In 1915, Germany is the first to use large-scale chemical weapons in World War I. They used poison gas on the Russians. In 1918, a series of accidental collisions on a misty Scottish night lead to the loss of two Royal Navy submarines with over 100 lives, as well as damage to another five British warships. In 1919, American baseball phenom Jackie Robinson is born today. In 1920, Pi Beta Sigma Fraternity incorporates at Howard University. In 1921, American entertainer Mario Lanza is born. In 1922, a 7.3 earthquake, one of the largest ever in the United States, strikes Eureka, California. In 1929, the Soviet Union exiles Leon Trotsky. In 1930, 3M Company in Minnesota begins marketing Scotch tape. In 1931, Joseph Malone of the NHL's Quebec Bulldogs scores a record seven goals on this day. In 1933, Adolf Hitler promises Germany a parliamentary democracy. It never happens. In 1935, 12 inches of rain falls on Quinault, Washington today. In 1936, the Green Hornet radio show is first heard on WXYZ Radio in Detroit. In 1937, American composer Philip Glass is born. In 1941, Joe Lewis knocks out Red Berman in five rounds to win the heavyweight boxing title. In 1942, Allied forces are defeated by the Japanese at the Battle of Malaya and retreat to the island of Singapore. In 1945, about 3,000 inmates from the Stutthof Nazi concentration camp are forcibly marched into the Baltic Sea at Palmniken, now Yantarni, Russia, and executed. Also in 1945, U.S. Army Private Eddie Slovak is executed for desertion the first such execution of an American soldier since the American Civil War. In 1947, White Horse in the Yukon Territory records a temperature of negative 52 Celsius, or 62 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, a record low for all of Canada. 
In 1948, the magnetic tape recorder is developed by Wireway. Nope, not some giant electronics company. In 1949, NBC Chicago's These Are My Children, the first soap opera begins broadcasting today. In 1950, President Harry S. Truman announces a program to develop a hydrogen bomb. In 1952, the Dutch Lutheran Church reunites after one and a half centuries. In 1953, a flood in the North Sea causes over 1,800 deaths in the Netherlands and over 300 in the United Kingdom. Also in 1953, the ship Princess Victoria capsizes off of Stanrare, Scotland. 133 died. 1954, Edwin Armstrong dies today. Without him, the world of music would not have been the same. He invented FM radio. In 1955, RCA demonstrates the first music synthesizer. In 1956, English author A.A. A. Milne passes away today. We have Alan Alexander Milne to thank for Winnie the Pooh. Also, Johnny Rotten of the Sex Pistols is born today. In 1957, the Canadian government makes Thanksgiving Day a holiday. It is the second Monday in October in Canada. In 1958, James Van Allen discovers what is later called the Van Allen Radiation Belt. Also in 1958, Explorer 1 is the first successful launch of an American satellite into orbit. In 1961, Ham the Chimpanzee travels 158 miles into space aboard a Mercury test flight. Ham was fine, but did suffer a bruised nose. Also in 1961, the United States Air Force launches the Samos spy satellite to replace U-2 airplane flights. Also in 1961, the movie The Misfits is released. Little did we know that it would be the last appearance of both Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe. In 1964, the U.S. published report called Smoking in Health connects smoking to lung cancer for the first time. In 1966, the USSR launches Luna 9 toward the moon. In 1968, the island of Mauritius gains independence from Britain. Also in 1968, the U.S. performs a nuclear test at the Nevada test site. In 1970, members of the Grateful Dead rock band are busted on LSD charges. In 1971, the Winter Soldier investigation begins. Organized by Vietnam veterans against the war to publicize war crimes and atrocities by the United States. Also in 1971, Apollo 14 lifts off for a mission to the Fromaro Highlands on the moon. Another thing in 1971, My Sweet Lord by George Harrison hits number one on the UK pop chart. In 1975, Barry Manilow's Mandy Goes gold. Also in 1975, John Lennon releases Number Nine Dream. 1976, Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players hits number one. 1977, Frenchman Francois Clostre is freed after 33 months as a hostage in Chad. In 1980, the police storm the occupied Spanish embassy in Guatemala City, killing 41. In 1981, The Tide is High by Blondie hits number one. Also in 1981, the 38th Golden Globes airs Ordinary People and Coal Miner's Daughter are winners. On this day in 1981 as well, Justin Timberlake is born in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1984, Edwin Newman retires from NBC News after 35 years with the network. In 1985, South African President P.W. Botha offers to free Mandela if he denounces violence. In 1986, Mary Lund of Minnesota is the first female recipient of an artificial heart. Also in 1986, Ohio records a 5.0 earthquake. 17 people are treated for minor injuries and some damage is sustained in the Painesville Mentor area. In 1987, the 44th Golden Globes air, Platoon and Marley Matlin win. Also in 1987, airline People Express flies its last flights before becoming part of Continental Airlines. In 1988, a barge sinks near Anacortes, Washington, spilling 70,000 gallons of oil. In 1990, McDonald's opens its first fast food restaurant in Moscow. Also in 1990, the first ever all sports daily, The National, begins publishing. In 1991, an earthquake measuring 6.6 .6 occurs in the Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan. An estimated 200 to 400 people are killed while many more are injured. In 1992, sportscaster Howard Cosell retires. In 1994, German-based BMW buys rover cars from British Aerospace for $800 million. 
In 1995, President Bill Clinton authorizes a $20 billion loan to Mexico to stabilize its economy. In 1996, separatist Tamil Tagirs detonated a truck loaded with explosives in front of the central bank in Colombia, Sri Lanka, killing 91 people. In 1999, the Denver Broncos repeat as NFL champions, defeating the Atlanta Falcons 34-19 in Super Bowl 33. In 2000, Alaska Airlines Flight 261 crashes into the sea off of the coast of California, killing all 88 on board. In 2001, in the Netherlands, a Scottish court convicts Libyan Abdelbasit Almagrahi for his part in the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland in 1988, which killed 259 people. In 2003, the waterfall rail accident occurs near Waterfall, New South Wales, Australia. The train derailed, killing eight people aboard due to poorly designed safety systems. In 2009, the Molo fire in Kenya occurred when an oil spill from an overturned truck burst into flames as onlookers attempted to obtain spilled fuel for personal use. At least 113 people died and over 200 more had critical injuries. In 2010, Avatar becomes the first movie to ever gross over $2 billion. In 2011, Myanmar enjoys their first elected parliament in over 50 years, a positive step on their road to democracy. Also in 2011, a winter storm hits North America starting on this day. It caused nearly $2 billion in damage across the U.S. and Canada. In 2013, 300 people are injured in a train collision in Pretoria, South Africa. In 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump fires Attorney General Sally Yates after she instructs Justice Department officials to not defend Trump's travel ban. In 2020, the United Kingdom formally left the European Union more than three years after the country voted for Brexit. And in 2021, widespread protests occur in Russia against detaining opposition leader Alexei Navalny. 5,000 people are arrested. Thumbs up my video and I'll grab you a couple of more. Oh, there they are. Go for it.